it is an half. Its formula and uh, the consideration that in every division we have always expressed the numerator in the unit of the denominator. Let me check the Einstein special relativity. It told us that C2 is the square of the speed of a light and not the energy of one kilogram. We cannot think that a formula means only what we desire. Every formula means only what it really means. So, when we take the fam famous formula, we see that Einstein attributed in it an anomalous meaning about what C2 it was. In fact, if it is E equal mc2, it must be also true that E divided by m is equal to c2. In every division we have always expressed the numerator in the unit of the denominator. In E divided m the denominator is the mass. Therefore, the ratio E divided the mass must mean the energy of one kilogram, since one kilogram is the unit of the mass, because of the math. That is not an opinion, but it is clear. The energy of a mass in some kilograms is obtained by those kilograms when they are multiplied by the energy of one kilogram. Now, we know that one kilogram is a quantity of water. It is the water contained in one decimeter cubed at four degrees centigrade. Therefore, the water is what gives greatness to the ratio E divided M. The E, the energy in the water, is the inertia of movement of the molecule, which is measured in its own atomic weight. And they are 18 units of atomic weight. So the ratio energy mass in the water must be as 18 divided by a number of units expressed in atomic weight. We must consider that in the molecule of the water we have three atoms, two of hydrogen for a total of two atomic weight and one of oxygen for 16 atomic weight. Between oxygen and hydrogen, the unit of the atomic weight belongs to one atom of hydrogen. So, it is the ratio, if the ratio is referred to the unit of one atomic weight, this ratio is referred only to one alone of the two atoms of hydrogen. In this situation, energy divided mass is 18 divided 2 in a ratio between energy and the unitary mass of the hydrogen, which is equal to 9 every 1. This confirms that also the ratio E divided M in the Einstein special relativity must be 9 to 1 and that C2 must be worth 9 to 1 in 10 raised to 17 meters squared every second squared. Because of the square of the light speed is not today 9 units but 
9875 everyone the reference to the light speed is at least anomalous for not say wrong in fact c2 is the energy of the mass of one decimeter cube of water when this mass flow is valued in all is electromagnetic energy and we can uh, uh, make uh, a perfect perfect count 10 cubed angstrom cubed angstrom is the unit of uh, the space atomic uh, is the volume 10 rise to 5 angstrom is all the quantity electric or magnetic in the 10 rise to 10 angstrom of 1 meter so angstrom cubed 10 cubed multiplied by 10 rise to 5 that is by all the electric or magnetic flow gets 10 rise to 8 angstrom as all the electric flow of each volume unitary of one angstrom cubed and this in each line x y z these three lines simultaneous ones are three times 10 rise to 8 angstrom every 10 rise to minus 10 second at the atomic dimension the same velocity is reduced in the same ratio hmm? and if we multiply this quantity expressed in angstrom by 10 raised to 10 we express it in meters and in second and they are 3 multiplied 10 raised to 8 meters every second as C capital not the C of Einstein this is another thing that is a velocity electric or magnetic of flow the electromagnetic speed is C2 the electric multiplied by the magnetic and belongs to the electromagnetic flow of energy equal atomic weight of the water contained in one decimeter cubed is it enough for a Nobel Prize?